FullTiltPoker.net presents Learn from the Pros. I am Chris Rose, and look, I got to admit, this is my favorite part of the show. This is where four other pros that swear they're better than Howard Letterer join us for a little roundtable discussion. Sorry, Chief, that's what they told me to say. It's okay. First of all, I want to welcome Jennifer Harmon, who has won two World Series of Poker Bracelets. How are you, Jennifer? I'm good. How are you? Doing great, thank you. Phil Ivey, five bracelets to his name, including three back in 2002. No jersey. What's going on, pal? I had to change up today. Okay. You look good. You look thank good. You, thank you. As does Chris Ferguson, who won it all back in 2000. How are you, sir? I'm doing fine. How are you? Good. And Lane Flack, five bracelets to his name. But you, you told me earlier it should be seven. Somebody stole a couple from you this year? A couple, yeah. Uh, two. Two. This, just this year alone. Uh huh. All right, guys. Uh, Howard, a little earlier you told us about the, the problems with all in and sometimes the mistakes that amateurs make. What are some other common mistakes that amateur players, you know, players that are just getting started? Yeah, well, I think there are a lot of beginning players that when they play over the head, I mean, they, they might lose a big chunk of their bankroll or the entire bankroll. And if they stay within their comfort zone or if, if they stay within their bankroll, they have a chance to, uh, to move up and become a much better player, in my opinion. You can move up and take shots and, yeah. and then you get better. But if you lose, you can go back down and grind it up, grind it, it out for a while. Is that what you did, though? I mean, the first time you really stepped it up? Did you feel like, I, I got to go for it, I really got to step on the accelerator right now? Uh-huh, and then I went broke. Yeah, who's going who's, who's gonna to say no to her if she has to borrow? <laughs> so, you know, she could get away with it. What, we, did she borrow from she, anybody no, up here? Is no, that what happened? She, she could get away with it, we can't. Huh. Yeah. Well, you know, all, I mean, also one thing, I, I think tournaments are a great way where you can push your comfort zone without pushing your bankroll. You know, so basically you can pick a buy-in that is well within your bankroll, but the idea of a tournament is the stakes keep going up. Eventually, you're going to get to a, to 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 a stake level and a situation like if it's a final table of of like a $300 tournament, you've never been there before. You will be getting out of your comfort zone and be getting better. But at the same time, if you lose, you only lost that $300 buy-in. I also think tournaments are a great, great way to learn because your opponents are playing a lot tougher in tournaments. Um, they're really trying hard. Sometimes in the lower limit games especially, your opponents are just there to have fun, so they're not really playing the best poker out there. But in tournaments, everyone takes it seriously, so well, everyone's I, really trying you hard. You know, I would, I would agree with you in, in one way, but I also think that tournaments are, are where people are trying to play their best. But, um, you know, one of the best pieces of advice that I ever got was from Dan Harrington, and, and he's a firm believer that at every table, at every moment during a poker tournament, there's somebody who's outside their comfort zone and not playing well, and maybe even almost subconsciously looking to get broke so that they don't have to deal with the pressure of the situation. And he feels like that first level, there's probably someone there that satellited their way in and they're uncomfortable, and then three, four hours in, there's someone else that's just kind of cracking, and if it, you know, at the final table, obviously, you know, that's a real big pressure situation. And you're always wanting to identify the guy that might be kind of cracking under the pressure, but it starts at the beginning all the way yeah, through. There, there is a lot of pressure in tournaments, and the higher you go up, the more pressure you're going to feel. But you can use that to your advantage later, because once you've felt that pressure, then you're going to get better and, and better, and then hopefully... Yeah so, so, yeah, so getting out of your comfort zone, that's probably a good thing as far as, uh, you know, Absolutely. becoming a better poker player. You know, you have to put your, you have to be in situations where you're where you're not comfortable because eventually, at some point in time, especially when you start playing uh, bigger cash games or you get deep in a tournament, you're at the final table, it's down to six players where every decision counts. You know, there's going to be some situations that come up where you might you know you might not be comfortable or you might not uh, you know so you, where you have to make uh, good decisions. You you can almost get comfortable with being out out of your comfort zone. One, once you're used to it and you've shown yourself you can handle that pressure then there may never be another situation where you, you ever lose confidence. You start to look forward to it. Mm -hmm. I play my best, you know, when I'm in, a, in, a, in, the, in the biggest money situations there are. I'm gonna, I learn more playing in a final table of the World Series than I do anywhere else. That's where I actually improve my game. Weren't you intimidated at some point in your career? You sit down at a table, I mean, you see a Doyle Brunson, you see a Johnny Chan for the first time. How, how can you not feel like you're out of your comfort zone for a second? Believe it or not, when you step up to that limit, there, there's more eyes on you than your eyes are on them. I mean, you, you, you had to build your way up there, so, you know, you're, you're, you're the hot shot building your way up. You know, they're, they're more, they're, they're actually more intimidated by you making your way up there. They don't, they've never seen you play. You've got to see them play. Wait a second. So you're telling well, me that, so that, that far. You wouldn't go that far? Not intimidated, but. They look, anytime anybody comes to the big game, they, they embrace you. 
They, they, well, yeah, I agree with that. I just mean you, you've watched them play for years and years and years. That's true. Yeah, they have to learn. They and have to figure they, out. They, they don't play. know anything about your play. Yeah. Yes, I would sir. say the first time I played with Doyle, I couldn't even speak. I couldn't even get the words <laughs> out. And I think right. that day I had more decisions to make in a poker game than I had in some of the smaller games ever. And yeah. I think, you know, having that encounter, I really learned a lot. I was able to... You know. The pressure was on in every decision. Well, yeah, and, and you start questioning yourself. You, you encounter a situation that you've encountered over and over again, and all of a sudden, while well, you're in the big game and you're playing against the best players in the world, and you start to question yourself, and that's healthy. Yeah. Maybe you start revisiting some ideas. Yes, you, yes. you start to learn things. Wait, you mean it isn't quite so easy? Maybe I shouldn't be playing this hand this way every time because then they can do this, and all of a sudden they, sh you know, they show you those new tricks. You know, you go home and think about every decision you made, and you question it, and you run it through your head a few times. You know, you, you decide whether it's right or wrong for you. I mean, in order to get better, you have to challenge yourself. You have to step out of your comfort zone. Or, you know, er every professional poker player does it. Well, guys, thanks for making me feel comfortable. Of course, I don't have any chips in front of me, which is probably a good thing for me. <laughs> guys, we appreciate the time. Thank you very much. To learn, chat, and play with the pros, go where they live. FullTiltPoker.com